Hey everybody, it's Saturday. Time to recap what we talked about this this week. I hope you got something out of this study. Uh, it's a great time to be alive here on planet Earth. I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. And um, we, we started off, I mean, we've been reading Matthew chapter 24. And I, I just encourage you to read this chapter, but read it with, with the right spirit. Read it knowing that God loves you and I. We are the elect. And he does special things for you and I. So when we read about this, yes, it's pretty devastating. But you and I, the Bible tells us in Thessalonians that we are not appointed under the wrath of God. Praise God. So we need to just trust God. Anyway, we looked at all this this week. And we first of all found out that, um, you know, we're a peculiar people. And, and with all of this bickering and fighting and arguing and dissension that takes place in the world, you and I need to be sanctified, set apart. People need to see the spirit of peace on you and I. So when we enter a room, instead of joining in with the dissension and the arguing and the bickering, you and I come in and pray. You and I come in to bring peace. Why? Because we are peacemakers. We are ambassadors of Christ. Amen. And then we also looked and we said that um, um, even when it comes to racism and division like uh, gender division between male and female, black and white, you know, whatever. Um, uh, e even religious groups, whether it be Christian or Muslim and, and Buddhist and so forth, you and I are, come as ministers of reconciliation. Now again, it's not, I'm not saying necessarily that you're going to win the souls of a, a Muslim or a, a Buddhist or so forth. But just by being a minister of reconciliation, that causes the opportunity to lead somebody to the Lord. And I just pray that would take place. Amen. And, um, and as we read, we, we found out that, that there's going to be wars and rumors of wars and nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and, and uh, pestilence, earthquakes, um, famines. Uh, we found out that some of us are going to be delivered up uh, for persecution and tri tribulation, and some of us are even going to be killed. Don't worry about it. Your salvation is still secure in him. Amen. And then we said some of us are going to be betrayed, and even some will hate one another, and the love of many will be grow cold. It says evil will abound, and the love of many will grow cold. We have to hang on to our first love, which is Jesus Christ. And so, again, we're ministers of reconciliation. We love our enemies. We bless those who curse us. We uh, pray for those who despitefully use us. We do those things. Why? Because that's what we're called to do in spite of what's going on. We may be the only Jesus some will ever have the opportunity to see. So don't miss your opportunity by being caught up in the world and being bickering, you know, with the bickering and the fighting and everything else. Amen. And then we found out that um, um, because of all of this, these trials and stuff, and because of all this stuff that's going on in the earth, that even the unreachable are going to be reachable. Uh, we saw it in at 9/11 when uh, when they took down the uh, the the World Trade Towers. You remember, the churches were packed. Why? Because people are saying, "What is this all about?" Well, when these tribulations and trials come, the churches are going to fill up again. People are going to come and wonder what is going on. So we're going to have an opportunity to reach the unreachable. Amen. And and then also. Persecution is a way of purif purifying. Again, you know, I, I shared the fact uh, of James chapter 1 verse 2 that says, Count it all joy, my brethren, when you encounter various trials. See, it's a great day to be alive. Count it all joy. It's your choice. The joy of the Lord is our strength. But count it all joy. Why? Because it produces, uh, uh, it causes you to use your faith. See, it, the tribulation causes you to use your faith, faith in God. And that faith produces patience, and patience, when she has her perfect work, causes you to be perfect, complete, lacking nothing. Whoo, glory to God. And then finally, we are closer to seeing Jesus than ever before. Well, the scriptures say it. 
it says that when we see all these things happen, know that the end is near. Uh, it's uh, verse 30, uh, 2430 says, Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven. Then all of the tribes of the earth will mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Glory to God. We are close. Romans chapter 13 verse 11 says this, The hour has come for you to wake from your sleep, for salvation is nearer to us now than uh, when we first believed. Again, that's Romans 13 11. We need to wake up, church. Be aware, yes, all this stuff's going to happen, but you and I are called to be peacemakers. You and I are called to, to, to help bridge the gap of, of racism and, and again, the, the, the war between the genders and all the rest of the crazy stuff that's going on. Um, we need to bring the Spirit of God into places and uh, be bold about it. Well, I hope you got something out of this study. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. All right, today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. Go to church, learn more about this stuff, and become who, all that God wants you to be. Become ambassadors of Christ. Become, um, um, yeah, peacemakers and all the rest of the stuff that we've talked about. Jesus loves you. I love you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.